Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. Start by opening your door, and behind your door handle, you'll notice that there is a little cap right here, and a seven millimeter behind that, which we'll take out. And then right up here, there's another hidden panel. We'll take that cover off, and there's a T30 Torx bit, uh, or a Torx bolt right here that we'll want to remove. Around the perimeter of the door, there's three seven millimeter bolts that you'll want to take out next. We're going to use our door panel removal tool that is available from 1A Auto. We'll start right here on the edge of the door, and you'll feel the door panel pop away from the door. You can work your way along the bottom and remove the rest. We'll move up to the top and right between the rubber seal and the door panel are some more clips that you'll be able to remove with some more prying. And then you can lift it straight up and over the door lock. Once you have the door panel loose, you'll want to take out this Phillips screw right here for the tweeter on the top of the door panel. Right here, you just pop this thing down and pull out. You can move on to the next one, which is the power window switch. And you'll need a pick for this to slide into this tab. And then you can pull it straight down. Then you get your power window switch, which you'll push the tab down on and pull out. Got your door handle, which goes like this. And lastly, you have your trunk switch, which the tab is on the bottom of. And now your door panel's free. If you have a power mirror, it's gonna have a connector right here above the speaker. You'll pull the tab on it, pull that out, and then you'll see a rubber grommet that you have to push through the door frame. If you just squeeze the edges, you should be able to pop it in, like that. To remove your mirror, you'll wanna stop by pulling this rubber panel out and pulling off this plastic tab. Behind those, you'll find three 10 millimeter nuts that you'll need to remove. Obviously, be sure that you don't drop them down on the door, because then you'll add a whole lot more work to the job. On the last bolt, you'll want to support the mirror so that it doesn't fall off the outside of the car. Now you can just grab the mirror, pull it up through, and feed the wire through all the holes and remove it from the door. Below the mirror, you're gonna find a dirt ring, and this is a great opportunity, now that you have the mirror off, to clean up the whole area and make sure you're not uh, leaving all the dirt under your mirror. Start by inserting the wire into the hole in the door, and feed it down through the door. To install, there's the three 10 millimeter nuts that you put on the studs. Again, making sure you don't drop them down into the door. Then you can tighten them down. You just wanna do it hand tight. You don't need to get crazy with it. And now your mirror's secure. For the speaker, you'll remove this one seven millimeter uh, screw right here. Just pop it off of the door frame itself, and there's one clip in the back that you push the tab down and pull out. 
you'll see the harness for the mirror fall down through the speaker hole. So you'll want to feed it through the hole right above the speaker. And then pull the grommet through and make sure that it makes it all the way through. Feed it behind the other harness and then snap it into place. To reinstall the speaker, you want to plug it in, just like this. And then slide this right over the door panel itself. And screw the seven millimeter right back in. You can pop the rubber, gr rubber grommets right back in the door panel. And throw the sticker over the open hole. Putting the door panel back on, we'll start with the trunk switch. You'll put the pin down, snap it into place. Then we can do the door handle, which you take the ball and slide it into the handle itself. Kind of pull some tension on it. And then it slides right over here, clips on, like that. Then you got your window switch goes in here. And then your mirror switch, which is right here. And lastly, you have your tweeter, which goes up through the hole in the door panel. Comes out this side. The tweeter wire just plugs right into the tweeter like this. And then it sits into the door panel. So, and you have your one Phillips head screw that screws right in here. You'll put your door lock up through the hole in the door panel. And then you can start snapping the door panel into place. All right, we'll start by putting the seven millimeter right in the front of the door panel here. Then there's one down at the bottom, somewhere over here. The last seven millimeter is right here on the bottom. And you wanna go around and just snug them up. Right here in the door handle area, You'll have to put the Torx bolt back in. You'll replace your one seven millimeter that goes behind your door handle. And then you can put in your covers. And the one on top. Thanks for watching. Visit us at oneauto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.